to all you lovely human beings and welcome back to a brand new Cursed Out Update review video. Today we are covering the brand new Spawn PK Spring event. This thing is loaded with content. So guys, without further ado, I think we should just, you know, get into it. Alright folks, let's get into it. Spring Event 2022. The long-awaited Spring Event is finally here and will be open until May 31st, 2022. So, almost the start of summer. Below our list of activities at this event includes, so we've got Roaming Wilderness Mobs. As is, as is typical with Spawn PK, we pretty much always have Roaming Wilderness Mobs. Um, there's Common, Uncommon, Rare Easter Amps that roam the wilderness, of course. They drop event tokens, Easter Eggs. Uh, and you can get all these different weapons to kill them faster or from further away or to use different styles. So as you progress further into doing the wilderness mobs, you get yourself these Easter eggs along with along with the normal spring tokens that you would get. Now to access the shop in which you get the first weapon or upgrade the weapons, you go to this little egg pile here. So you press search pile of eggs and you can get all of these tier ones free of charge. These are not tier ones or this is this is but it's boots. So it's just to help you. So we start off with the tier one staff, tier one Easter Chinchampa, ooh la la, ear one, ear one, tier one Easter sword, right? We can also get the boots because we have all these for us. We've got the Easter arsenal staff as well. But, oh, we need to have everything else unlocked before we purchase that, of course, of course, of course. We upgrade that, boom, tier two, tier two of the Chinchampa, tier two of the sword, and then we keep getting up and up and up, tier three, tier three, tier three. And we've got the boots, we can get tier two boots, tier three boots. We get the Easter Arsenal staff, and we finish it off with the Easter Egg Crusher. These are all the different weapons that you can get from Easter Egg Hunting in the Wilderness. They all look pretty sick. Starts off basic and gets more and more detailed as you go. Look at that. Come on, that works perfectly with my outfit. Come on, guys. This is what we needed. Look at this little cute chinchampa, little Easter booties. I, uh, I'm, I'm a cutie with shoes. And the Easter Arsenal staff. Look at that. It's a Dawnbringer that looks like a like a kitted out easter motherfucker now what the easter boots do is they increase the amount of tokens you get from every single monster you kill they're super good to get so the further in the late game you get of this event the better that you get financially uh, there's also gilded eggs this time around rare gilded eggs that you find roaming around the wilderness uh, it's this extremely rare find i assume that that's correct you get 500 tokens or if you save them five can be cracked open for a spring event skin token Ooh, that's kind of cool uh, these events, these eggs are also obtainable as rare loot from Easter Revenants, which brings us to the Easter Revenant Cave, which is always a fun addition. Uh, sometimes they have it, sometimes they don't. This Easter, it looks like we are going back to the Easter Revenants. There's basically this cave with a bunch of little revenants. Uh, they drop the gilded eggs, uh, and there's only two exits to them. So, you know, get your, get your tokens now. Uh, there's Festive Bounty Hunter once again, uh, which is basically the same as the Halloween bounty system, uh, and the Christmas one as well. And so, uh, basically, you get extra winter tokens plus these different bounties for purchasing uh, the bunny death taunt. You can also get the, the jolly death taunt, which is sick, because I actually, I never got that, even though I wanted to. Um, it's basically fun little cosmetic things that happen when, when people die. It's kind of great. I want them. I, as somebody who has almost every item in game, it's sad to not have that. These are all the different rewards. So you can pause if you want to check them out real quick. Now, these are exciting. The event boss every four hours the easter calphite queen which is this this one over here the one marked with the two looks absolutely sick the easter calphite queen spawns with i think like a one out of 1k chance for the for the pet okay so one out of 1.5k for the easter calphite pet it restores prayer by five percent of damage taken it increases range strength by five magic damage by plus five and minus 10 percent chance or no sorry not minus plus 10 percent chance to completely ignore enemy defenses if using range to mage that's pretty damn sick 33 percent pvm Ooh, so things like like demonic gorillas are semi af cable now and it just so happens that i have access to one in game check this thing out oh it's so big and bright i really like the the blue detail on this and it's huge it's definitely one of the biggest pets that we have here on spawn pk Along with the Easter Calphite Queen, there is the Big Chungus. I don't know why they decided to make it that. The Big Chungus roaming boss every two hours. It's a random wilderness location. The Big Chungus drops Easter eggs, tokens, uh, prize keys, grand prize keys, epic pet mystery boxes, blood chests, and the Spring Vintage Casket, which, by the way, tune in to loot from 1,000 of those. I will be coming out tomorrow. Ooh la la. But from those, you can get a bunch of random rare items from the 2018 to 2021 spring events. You'll see what it is. Don't worry. I'll show you guys. I got you. I got your backs. There was also a new pet fuse, the ultimate Easter Calphite Queen pet, which you get by combining five Blood Lords, five Blood Phoenixes, and 
15 Easter cake you bets. This thing will not be common. And I just so happen to have access to a, a freaking box test account that has all the pets that are required for the new pet fuse. If I go here to the pet keeper, he says, how may I help you fuse the ultimate Easter cow fight pet? Look at this thing. Let's look at its stats real quick. Restores prayer by 7.5% of damage taken. Increases rank strength by 15. Oh, that's, a, that's huge. Magic damage by 10%. 15% chance to completely ignore enemy defenses if using ranged and mage. 50% PVM. So, you know, demonic gorillas, I'm coming for you. I'm getting those fermented bracelets, baby. Uh, let's make this sick ass pet right here, right now. Boom. Box test fuse the ultimate Easter cow fight pet. Let's see if, if yell chat says anything. None have been made so far. These are way too hard to get. Um, look at this. Look at this gorgeous thing. It's beautifully designed. Red and black and and it's got like the, the, the cursed uh, cursed bounty hunter colors. It's really, really sick looking. There's also the normal standard activities that you get, you know, with, with every event. There's the brawl wagering, daily money making activity rewards, bonus tokens for raids, hunger games, LMS, PKing hotspot kills, bounty kills, the normal stuff. Oh, I also got one of my last customs that I bought. You'll see that in a bank video coming soon. Um, regular patches, um, uh, some hunger games improvements, which are great. Um, treasure casket and chest chest prices cheaper in the shops. Great, great, great. Inside Hunger Games, random event timer reduced from 45 seconds to 30 seconds. That's sick. Um, amount of time Golden Hunger Games are active from five minutes to 10 minutes. Yes, guys, that's actually such a nice quality of life. Increased cash bag reward per kill in Hunger Games from three to four. Great. First place in Hunger Games goes from five bill to 10 bill. Yes, dude. Second place, 2.5 to five. Great. Third, 1.5 to 2.5. And then we go to Hunger Games. Daily reward goes to 10 bill. Guys, they're really bumping Hunger Games up. I love Hunger Games for those who don't know, and most of you probably know this. Um, LMS points have increased. Great. LMS buffs. All these LMS buffs. Increased points for all their placements by plus one. 50, 50 cash bags to LMS daily reward. Nice. Added cash. Increased cash bag reward amounts for most daily money making tasks. Great. They were all outdated. Added Bloodlust Scrolls to easy PKing. Bloodlust Scrolls now give 15 minutes of Bloodlust instead of five. Great. Increased Laren's chest cash bag reward amounts on common table. That's kind of nice. It's a nice little Increase to uh, to Larence keys. Increase task scrolls cash bag reward amount on common table. Great. Task scrolls were garbage and they're probably still garbage, but we'll see how it goes. Three to five rewards instead of three to four rewards from task scroll caskets. Okay, I stand corrected immediately, right? Increased chance of receiving rares from task scrolls by 10%. Great. And ca oh, cash bag rewards from tournaments are now up to 100 bill. Great. It's reflecting the economy. Bond reward is now $45 bond instead of the 30 very very nice blood money reward from tournaments is now 12.5k Ooh, new type of tournament guys your boy suggested this so long ago zerker tournaments hell to the yes i think that's from my suggestion so you know you can thank me if you want but don't because it's not really my fault i swear new daily money making medium task 15 hotspot kills F fix blood thorn bush and ladder great bug fix bug fist uh congrats to halos and walk chaos for your youtuber commands very 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 nice oh t <laughs> beast icon tier one and tier two are now untradeable um, well, I have one that I traded for, so uh, that's kind of nice. And for the last little bit of this video, I figured I would show you guys some uh, some cool shit that I have access to right now. I will be opening the entire event chest, but first I have something real cool to show you guys. So if we go to the event merchant right here, we go to the spring cosmetic shop. There are these cool cosmetics. Some of them are re-releases, some of them are new. I'm going to show you guys the new stuff. There's the new Easter Demon Mask Blue. There's the Easter Demon Mask Yellow and the Easter Demon Mask Pink. These are brand new items to the game. Let's see how they look. Easter Demon Mask Blue, a little little freak. Yellow, even more of a little freak. And the pink, even more of a little freak. Gorgeous. I will be doing an, uh, a chest opening, but first I'm gonna talk about the event coins. So event coins are, are obtained by uh, completing the entire chest. You get three per completion. And then you can go to this store at the event merchant. You talk to him, hello, you talk to him. You go to the spring event coin shop, the second option right here. And these are the rewards for this year. We've got the yellow Easter Santa hat, the yellow Easter party hat, the yellow Easter icon, the Easter die 2022, and the spring vintage casket. If I had a face guard uh, or a surf helm to show you on this account, I would, but I currently do not. So I'm gonna show you guys the Easter Santa hat, the Easter party hat, and the Easter icon. Do I have more? I got five more of these. Um, I guess I can't really use them. But if we take a look at these, this is the new Easter Santa hat. It's kind of cute. Oh, look at that, it glows too. Easter party hat, glows a little less, it's a little darker, and the Easter icon, which I was very curious about. Ooh, okay, that looks kind of cool. I dig it, I dig it a lot, honestly. And now let's get to our Easter opening, baby. A lot of cool stuff in here. I'm gonna open it all, show you guys the loot. Oh, wait, hold on, I wanna get the, this last piece here, maybe? Nope. 
let's get, oh, I forgot to take out my goddamn tokens. But I do want to show you guys the loot from an entire chest empty. Okay, next round. Oh, we got the new Easter Bounty Cape. Let's take a look at how this looks. Uh, it looks very tutti fruity is how it looks, but kind of cool. Just trying to get those Elder Chaos legs. Come on, man, please. Give me, there, there we go. All right, sick. So check out the new Elder Chaos robes uh, with my little Easter Santa hat. I look hella cute. Let's keep on opening these bad boys up. Boom, boom, boom. And boom, there we go. That is the entire Easter chest emptied. I'm gonna open just the big stuff for you guys because I feel like that's the most fun stuff. So if you're wondering what the loot from an entire, an entire event chest completion looks like, it is exactly this. Pretty sick loot. Let's open some of it for the funsies and then we will have to end the video there, but I've had fun so far and maybe we can have a little more fun now. Okay, quick little one of these. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, we got a Tebow on the box test account. Are you kidding? All right, we will open up the rest of the stuff and we will call it a night from there. Unless we have things to enchant, in which case that could be fun. Anything from these crests here? Nothing from the crest. Epic Pet Mystery Box? Nope, nope. Nothing good there. I almost forgot about the Bond casket. Silly me. Epic Pet Box? Ooh, a mini me? Can, two mini me's? Can we get a double? Maybe five mystery tickets. If I get a pet fuse, I'm going to scream. So drive one of the main great. I feel a lot better about that. Ooh, 100 from the Bond casket with a key. Fancy, fancy, schmancy. Let's open up this thing. Maybe we can get an enchant. Ooh, event hunter legs. I doubt there's any on this account that have ever been attempted. There are not. Boom, can we get a first try? No, but that would have been kind of hype, right? And lastly, we got these two little, little, little doppelganger pets, maybe. Maybe we get it, maybe we don't. I don't think we do it. This thing has so many open. All right. Well, that's it for me, guys. I hope you did enjoy this video. I hope you found it informative. Uh, and I hope you come and play on the Easter event. It's never been easier to make money on this server. Seriously, events are so good for money. It's so easy to start and so much fun to play. So guys, truly thank you all so much for watching. Um, to apply for our giveaway, all you gotta do is like the video, comment your in-game name in the comment section, and be subscribed. It's that simple, that easy. Make sure to stay tuned for the 1000 Spring Casket 2022 opening video coming out tomorrow. Uh, yeah, that's that's it for me, guys. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I do really appreciate every single last one of you. Cursed out, signing out. Goodbye.